In my junior year of college, I was accepted to the Leadership Academy, and I was stoked because it was in Miami. Yeah, I thought Florida turned out to be Ohio. I was excited. I was with the top 1% of the fraternity leadership, and it was going to be a great experience. Now, part of that experience was a ropes course. Raise your hand if you've ever done a ropes course, a challenge course. Yeah, we've all, a lot of us have done them. They're great bonding experiences, right? And the first part of the day went off really well. We did the balance beam. We did a little trust fall action. And then right before lunch, we had a very different kind of obstacle. In essence, it was very simple. You had two platforms about five feet away from each other. On, and in between the two platforms was a big brown rope. And the objective was really simple. All we had to do is all 20 of us had to stand on the first platform and use the rope to get all 20 of us over to the next platform. Uh, there was one problem. I don't like to do ropes. Me and ropes have not had a very friendly relationship ever since gym class. And in that moment, I let the fear overtake me. And I did something I normally don't do. Played the disability card. My brothers, I would love to take part in this activity, but you see, I got this disability and I'm going to just sit it out, but that's okay, I'm gonna cheer you on and it's almost lunchtime and I heard they're serving ribs, so let's get with it. It's met with silence. Until finally one of my brothers, a Texan, who we called T-Bone, <laughs> stepped out. Artella. You're gonna swing on that darn rope. And you're right, it is lunch. And they're serving ribs. Let's get to it. And over the next few minutes, my brothers and I tried to find a way for me to swing on that rope. And finally, we had the most brilliant idea ever. We got a big log out of the woods. We tied it to the, to the bottom of the rope, and T-Bone said, Artella, sit on that thing. And so I sat on that rope, and I prayed to God it would hold me. And in a moment, I took a deep breath and swung over. And at 21 years of age, first time I ever swung on a rope. Now, it was a cool moment, and it totally changed my perspective on life and possibilities and pushing my comfort zone. And that's the leadership lesson I want you to think about in this room. Because after I could swing on that rope, everything became possible. I no longer had excuses to not go after a dream or let an obstacle or a fear keep me from moving forward. We as managers and leaders in higher education in this room are like that day on the challenge course. You see, at some point, several points, we are gonna be that scared, disabled guy on the platform trying to find an excuse not to move forward in something we know is right. And as managers, we're often also on the outside watching someone struggle, watching someone come up with the excuses. And my challenge to you is, are you gonna work with them? Are you gonna try and elevate them? Or are you gonna sit back and watch them suffer? You see, this isn't just about personal development. I speak about work-life balance in our profession, a profession that sees 40 to 60% of its staff turnover in five years. A profession that accepts the notion that being overworked and underpaid is something that just comes with the job. And in that struggle, we have voices that come out that want to change things, that want to make things better for the staff so that we can better serve the students. How will you push your comfort zone? What will you do to get our campuses to the next level? Because when we push those comfort zones, when we do what we know is right, we create a better campus, we create a better culture, and by doing that, we best serve the students.